Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. A couple areas that we're watching in the tropics. This here is Tropical Depression number 6. This is not a well-defined system whatsoever. A lot of strong wind shear pushing a lot of the deep convection to the south. So center of this storm is uh, exposed. Now that wind shear, it'll start to die down over the next couple of days. But as it does so, it's going to be moving into some cooler waters. So this could briefly become our next tropical storm, which the next name on the list is Aaron, but then as it moves over some cooler waters, it'll basically transition into more of an extra tropical system. This here is Tropical Storm Dorian, Hurricane Reconnaissance Plane. And it's been flying through this all through the morning hours, and they're noticing a couple of things. The pressure it basically has remained unchanged, so it's not falling in this system. Also, they're noticing the dry air continues to plague this system. In fact, some drier air has been working its way in on that southern side of the storm, so that gets into the center and just kind of chokes the storm. So that's really that's actually good news because as long as this system continues to be plagued by some obstacles. It just doesn't have its opportunity to consolidate itself and really start to strengthen. So there you see a lot of dry air in place across uh, the Caribbean. Now, once it works its way uh, through the Caribbean, north of Hispaniola, notice that's where tropical depression number six is. And what it's been doing, it's been moistening up the atmosphere up there. So once uh, Dorian gets up there, the atmosphere is going to be more moist and it'll have more moisture to work with. So conditions look like they'll be more favorable as we head into the back up into the Atlantic as we head towards the end of the week heading into the weekend so right now winds they're at 50 miles an hour 14.2 61.8 uh, notice this track as we go through the next couple of days basically slicing right between Hispaniola and Puerto Rico and then the big key will also be the high pressure that builds back to the north of this system which is going to tend to bend that track back towards the west basically steering it right towards Florida now it's still way too early to pinpoint any kind of effects that we'll see on the state because we still have a, a big spread in the computer models as far as the intensity and the track of this storm so there's still a lot of questions as we go through the next couple of days you can see how big that spread is in the computer models although you do see a clustering basically slicing right between Hispaniola and Puerto Rico and then same story as it works its way towards the state you are seeing a bit of a clustering somewhere between say the Cape and down towards Fort Lauderdale but you're still you're seeing a spread in the computer models and also some computer models really showing this as a much weaker storm working its way towards the state so this is basically a wait and see for the time being but we have to watch it and you gotta kind of prepare uh, that we could be dealing with some sort of tropical storm affecting the state over the weekend of course we're going to keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com